Hi, I'm Mike Karch. I'm the owner of Floyd Total Security. I've been in the security systems business for just about 40 years. About five years ago, I started a crime fighter car collection. One of the cars in my collection is this very, very nice Black Beauty, which is built on a 65 Chrysler Imperial. The interesting thing about this car is that it is one of three that was made for the TV show. Two that were actually in the show and one that was a touring car and this one was a touring car. It was designed and built by George Barris as well as Dean Jeffries. The cool thing about it is 30 years later Dean Jeffries restored the car back to where it was when it did the touring. So as you can see the Green Hornet, the headlights flip, it's got rocket launchers, it has a uh, gas gun, and that, of course, will take care of the villains before they actually have to be uh, shot by the rockets. The car back in the day was called the Rolling Arsenal, and this was part of the reason that that was done. These were the original uh, types of wheels that were on the car back in the day. The car, again, is just under 19 feet long, so it's a very, very long car. The motor is a 413, which is a stock Chrysler engine back at the time, and has a three-speed torque flight transmission. Inside the car, which is where everything happened, Cato had switches up here that you can take a look at that controlled all the defense mechanisms. Okay? The Hornet, as he sat in back, also had his own set of switches. And from here, he could control the gas guns, the rocket launchers, those types of things. He also could launch the satellite, which is actually the start of the drones from, it would come out of the trunk. It would go up and it would, he used it mostly to trail cars. And there's a screen back here, so when it launched, he could sit back here and watch the cars that he was trailing. In the back, there's gun storage. There's gun ports, so he could shoot his gas guns out the back. And of course, he has a dial telephone. What's nice about this car, outside of the body and the paint and everything, it's just beautiful. But to have the car restored by the gentleman who actually built it, I think is, is probably one of the coolest things about it. This is probably one of my, one of my absolute uh, favorite cars to drive. It runs great, it drives great. It goes mostly either to, uh, to shows, but mostly it goes uh, to charity events.